What is up YouTube? So, to back again today with another guide on how to play the jungle. Um, today I was thinking of making a guide on how to play Warwick. I know a lot of you guys are trying to learn how to play Warwick in the jungle and or you've seen somebody play it really well and you thought maybe you wanted to pick it up. I think he's a great jungler. Really strong early game, really strong mid and late game. Um, he just brings a lot to a team, strong initiation, strong counter jungling. And he's just a tank, and the idea behind it, especially in this team, like, I have a Kai'Sa mid, a uh, Rumble top, and a, a Vega bot lane, so we really don't know, um, actually, I don't know what we're doing, but that's okay, so we're gonna just basically go against a, I guess, Ivern jungle, um, which is fine, when you play against Ivern's, you gotta be really careful, um, that you don't get cheesed early on. Before we actually get into this game, let me show you what I'm running. So, this is not what I run. I like to run... There it is. Sudden Impact, Relentless Hunter, Press the Attack, Triumph, Alacrity, Coup de Gras. Um, yeah, I would rather run the other page that I have, but I have kind of just prefer having the extra movement speed from uh, Relentless Hunter. And Sudden Impact gives you the extra armor pattern that you need sometimes to get an early kill. So, that's just my preference. You can choose to run either of those two pages that I had on screen. But, you know, whatever works for you. Just trial and error. So, uh, right off the bat, I see that they have Conquer Aatrox against a Rumble. And that's kind of broken, in my opinion. He just farms all day and hard engages on Rumble. So, I feel like this is going to go in his favor. Um... I see a Gragas mid with Ignite against a Vega. Oh, maybe it is Kaisa. Kaisa bot lane. That makes a lot more sense. Had me worried there for a minute. So, in this case, I feel like Vega, um, he should win as long as he doesn't get cheesed early on. And then bot lane. Bot lane goes towards them, but it's really hard for you to gank um, playing Warwick against that team comp. They just peel so hard. So, it's kind of just waiting on them. So anyways, personally, um, I like to start Hunter's Machete Reju beat, but I know some people like the refillable potion for the early game, so it's to each their own. The strength of Warwick is that you can literally start anywhere. So, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go get a ward on their blue buff to see that I don't, to see if Ivern's going to try to cheese me. And if he's there, then I'm going to start my own red buff. I don't really need a leash because I have such a strong clear. And that's that's really like what you need to take advantage of, is just knowing that you don't need to start bot lane 24-7. I feel like it's a good idea sometimes, but it's not necessary. So, if I don't see an Ivern here, I'm actually going to start his blue buff. If I start his blue, take his gromp, and then rotate to my red... This is going to put him really behind, and I don't feel like he would actually have time to respond to that. So this is actually what I like to do in solo queue. Most top laners watch their tower. At least mine's watching my buff this time, which is nice. Um, yeah. So if you invade like I just did and just do like a prep, like a pre-check, and they're not there, feel free to start their buffs. Most of the time, the top laners don't ward it, so. And especially since mine just showed right there. Vega's rotating up to help him out. Um which means he's gonna be like really behind. He might not actually get this kill either. Which would be kinda of disappointing. Alright at least he got the kill. So that just puts uh Rumble behind a little bit. So I like to take W level two and then helps with your helps the movement speed and you clear time. So he's here. Despite that. And he's he's level one. I would chase, but I don't want to deal with it right now. So that's definitely what you can do to like just really ruin Ivern's day is start his buff for a change. Nothing is more tilting. So what he if a smart if he's smart he would actually rotate to my blue buff and try to take it while I'm doing this. So once I'm done here, I'm actually gonna run down there myself. Um, and I don't have a ward by then, 
So I'm basically just gonna skip my wolves and I'm just gonna go straight towards towards my blue. If he's there, he dies because I have flash fear now, and he's still he should still be level one. He might be too, but we'll have to play that by ear. So, all right, he's not here, which is so I flashed his um his his plant. He's dead here. All right, I'm gonna get one kill here. Yeah, I don't know what he was doing. That was really greedy of him. Um, by the way, I didn't. I was gonna go kill Hungry and try to finish that off, but I realized like there was no need for me to check that bush. If he put a barrel there, I was dead. Um, yeah. So that's what I would do basically in that situation. Just make sure like you're aware that think put yourself in the enemy jungler's shoes. Like if you lost a buff. Would you try to take their buff? The answer should be yes, but you need to be calculated about it. And always make sure your lanes have lane priority so they can rotate if need be. So now, basically, Ivern, Ivern's in a really bad spot right now. I have 8 CS up on him. Let me put this here so you guys can hear better. Vagar's actually really up too. Now we just gotta, like, make sure he doesn't get ahead. So I'm actually gonna start this dragon. Um... And I also like to max W on Warwick. Uh, at least three points. Sometimes I'll, t I'll go three points in W and max Q. I just, it's personal preference, I guess, but I feel like the extra movement speed and attack speed is really good. So as long as you have a blue buff and a red, you should be able to do this pretty easily. Um, full health, especially, like, it's not so big of a deal. And I have double smite, so if I was really, like, worried, I would have smited earlier, but... Yeah, always just have faith in your, like, lifesteal abilities. Alright, so Ivern just cleared that, so he knows I'm here. And Gragas is also has lane priority right now. So, I'm actually going to clear my wolves. And I'm going to back, because I actually need to spend this gold. Um, and then I need to start putting pressure on that fire, or Aatrox's top lane. My bot lane should be doing just fine. They actually got a kill on Tristana, which is really good. And he's out farming her. Plus again, like this is Kaisa. Kaisa is broken right now. Um, I feel like she's definitely a ban priority target. So, first back, I'm gonna be build my team at, and I pick up a pink ward because Vision wins games, and the team at helps you just clear raptors and and whatnot faster. So, he's six. Um, I'm gonna clear these play these golems or krugs now whatever they're called if you're uh if you've been playing since season two like i have you know you call these things call these golems and the raptors you call them wraiths but so be it all right so now that i'm five i'm gonna try to get some pressure up here he is six so he can still technically turn this on us so i'm gonna try to save my fear for that but we'll see. Vagar's getting ganked mid, by the way. So I'm gonna go in. Okay, so he actually has this thing. And I'm gonna set up over here. Alright, that was a good counter gank. But he's still gonna die, like... So I get a kill either way, um, and <laughs> Ivan just needs to learn like that he needs to be trying to counter jungle me and get some other pressure elsewhere. Because now that he died, his blue buff's up in five seconds, and I'm gonna get that for free. I have a pink ward here as well in my inventory for a specific reason. I'm gonna drop that here just in case they try to rotate on me. Um, I would drop it here, but I'm not too worried about it. Like I said, Ivan's dead. And we have lane priority now. Save smite. And I'm actually going to pull this out a little bit more. Alright. So we can go top. Actually, you can just cheese this corner. So he... I used my fear. I'm, I'm actually going to have to kite away. Um, Aatrox had rotated down. That was a good ult. That was a great ult. So he's dead.
there it is. So I also like to like you notice how I um I had my old mid fight. Being able to quickly hit control R in the middle of a fight is really like what well, separates a lot of lower elo junglers from a lot of higher elo, elo junglers. Or you're just in like higher elo players in general. Because it's all about being able to quickly level up spells mid fight that turn turn games. So I pretty much have established like I have dominance over this Ivor. And it's all about just maintaining that dominance. I took early dragon and I've been taking control of his blue buffs. So I have a whole level advantage on him right now. And I'm just basically spreading my wealth. I need to start putting a little bit more pressure on the bot lane, I feel like, so we can get first tower and have them start rotating mid. And once that's done, you can just sit top with the rumble and just deny this Aatrox any chance of like getting ahead and carrying his team. So we're gonna clear wolves. Um clear wolves, Gromp, and then we're gonna actually like ward our blue and back off. So now that I have three points in my Hold on. So now that I have three points on my W, I'm gonna max a point in Q, because there might be a fight here. Um I'm actually gonna back right now, I don't think. Let's see. Yeah, there's no point in me trying to fight that. So pick this up. So knock up, knock away, stun, slow, whatever, snare, slow. There's not really like too much that I actually need the uh, Merc Treads for, so I'm actually going to go uh, Ninja Tabby. Pick up another Pink Ward, just in case they clear that, or I need need Vision immediately. I'm going to ping that he's walking down, even though he was probably just warding. Okay. This guy's just popping off. That Ivern is 0-4, and he's... <laughs> I have such, like, harsh feelings for uh, towards an Ivern, because, like, if you're not ahead, then... You're just a hindrance to your team. You don't do damage and you just put shields on people and hope they can win. So, at this point, like, I'm just gonna go help that Vagar that's getting in a team fight. Ping that you're on the way. You might actually kill him here. There it is. Nice job. So, since he's dead and they both died, the idea is you want to shove this under tower. Um, it denies the Gragas any farm and it actually puts damage on, on the tower. It also, like, if you can get first tower here, it really opens up the map. So, they're both here. I'm not too worried about them. Pop fear, just in case. I'm gonna fear them both off. Okay. I juke down, just in case he had that snare. Um, and he, I guess he was trying to lead me there, and that's why he missed it. So we gotta head here to help him out. So now that I'm in range, I'm gonna actually W here. He's in this bush, right? He just wasted flash, he's dead. Alright, nice job. That was greedy of him. If he didn't flat I uh, um if he didn't flash key, I would have saved ult anyways, just in case. So I'm gonna try to get this Herald and I'm gonna go. They're trying to set up this dragon, I think. They're on that dragon. I'm not really in a position to contest it though since my bot lane's in base. So I guess the Herald's the best play right now. If my bot lane was any closer, I might actually have rotated down there. Um Yeah, that's just just I just feel like giving up the dragon is just safer. That's just my personal pre er, preference. My bot lane's still gonna get there in time. They might actually be able to contest it with itself. But we'll see. I'm gonna head down there now. Okay, so they got they got the dragon, but I mean at what cost? So there's one kill, two kills. Ivern, Ivern's gonna die right here. So I flashed his Q again. Okay, so I'm gonna kite back a little bit. I need to get away from this tower. So she has rocket jump. So I'm gonna have to turn it here, my because she's there. Karma, good rotation, so the idea is I needed it away from tower, because if I was even going to try to contest her, and she just flashed away into tower, like, what was I going to do? She was just going to kite me down again. And I only basically turned, because I knew if I kept running, I might have died. Um, so yeah, that's just, like, my thought process there. She basically also, uh, Ivern basically killed himself. There was no communication there. 
if Ivern didn't uh, stasis out, he was out. So I popped that, because I actually thought that Gragas was going to land that. Um, yeah, we're not in any position to fight this, so... I'm going to head top lane and help him out. We're going to get a kill on Aatrox and turn it from there. So my pink ward's still there. Um, I'm going to pop W right here. Ping, I'm still go I'm going in. Okay, he's, he just committed. Um, yeah, I mean, Aatrox is really strong, but I feel like Warwick even, like, gets ridiculous. Alright, so here, I don't really have an out, so, yeah, I guess I'm just gonna fight because I don't have mana. <laughs> In that situation, if I had mana, I would have kited down, and then maybe, like, over here to ult over the wall. It, realistically, like, that was just a bad situation that I didn't have mana in, so they... They did a good job, but they wasted, like, exhaust on me for no reason. I was pretty much dead without that. Anyway, so I'm 7-1. Um, Vega's fed, Kais is fed, Karma's fed. This is pretty much, like, GG already. Um, I'm gonna finish my Titanic Hydra here. And then, once my Titanic Hydra's done, I'm probably gonna build a Thorn Mail. He cuts his healing. Um, she's also really auto attack reliant, so that's why Thornmill will probably be my next item over Dead Man's. Had this been like a, I don't know, a Jin or a Draven where they're not hitting me very fast, but they're hitting me hard, then I'd still think Dead Man's is a better item. Even uh, Randuin's is always a great item. So right now I have um, Herald, and it's gonna expire in 52 seconds. So I really need to like get my team to group together and put some pressure on them. Um, I don't know why I'm fighting him here. We're probably gonna save ult and bolt out. Okay, I could probably turn that, but so be it. Okay. So we're gonna W here since we're out of combat now. Okay. Pink ward there just so we have vision and we don't get guys didn't do it. So this, I'm basically just gonna drop this here. I don't really have an option here. They can interrupt me, but they didn't. So it was basically like waste, waste Herald by not using it or just risk dropping it. Oh jeez. Nice. Nice stun there you are. Okay, and that's that tower down. I ward over here just to make sure. And at this point, like... Yeah. At this point, like, I don't even think, like, I would be sieging. As, since I'm out of mana. Um, but since I'm popping fear here. The idea is just to get the Herald to the tower, basically. And, rely on that. I'm gonna leave them to their own devices because I'm pretty low on, on mana and health. I don't really have an option to help them anymore. So, just basically, when you're, as a jungler, you need to basically take charge sometimes. Um, and most, like, you have to understand a lot of your teammates aren't gonna be on the same page as you. Some people would have tried to stay and take that tower, and which is, at that point, you just need to start pinging them back, or at least let them know you're leaving. Um, I didn't ping that I was leaving that time because my team was backing out with me, but just just for future references. Okay. So I'm actually gonna kite this way towards around their blue, because that's what it looks like where the fight's like rotating. Um, cut them off. Someone's in this bush. Okay, I got baited. Interesting. So we pretty much can proxy. So he just accepted his death, I guess. So. No, he was just waiting to queue. Wow, good CC chained. That was greedy of me. I should let him go. Um, <laughs> so be it. 
So in this situation when he was over here, um, if I had better reaction time, I would have hit Q instead of E. I didn't know he had flash. So when I would, he, basically while I'm ulting, if you hold Q and he flashes over, you're with him. That's that's like the perfect situation. I just didn't have the reaction time for it. So like I said earlier, I'm gonna build a thorn mail. Uh, probably Bramble's vest first item, just for the healing reduction. So. And they cleared your pink. So if I had you know, the extra 75 gold lying around, which technically I almost did, I would have bought one, but I gotta get the bot lane to help take this, save this tower. I'm pretty sure my top lane and, or everyone top lane is gonna be able to clean that up. We'll see. So Tristana doesn't have mana for a jump and ult, so we're just gonna W in here, try to get on top of her. So she flashed. Okay, we can still run her down. She has, she has no towers to get to. Again, she still has no towers to get to, and she doesn't have boots. I have ult in five seconds. If I catch her, like... Meh. Oh, well. We got we got flash ult out of it. And there's dragon up. So be it. I always check this blast plant to make sure, and if the scrying plant's up, I always take it. Idea is you want to deny your junglers, or your enemy team at least, the opportunity to just check to see if you're doing it. And by, if they you are, you don't want to give them a free flash over the wall to smite steal you. So, that's basically like my thought process is if you're in a position to take both of those, then do it. Okay. So that's that. I'm gonna cl go clear my blue buff really quick so I have, um, no mana issues. I don't know why they're trying to surrender. Like, this game is pretty in hand, I feel like. So... So, right there, I used my Q, and I held it, and it popped me behind him, so I was able to dodge his... his, uh, his snare. And he was pretty much dead, regardless of how we played ward over to make sure that they're not aware or not or that we have vision on them so Atrox is up here he might look like he's trying to back so I just gotta keep an eye on him if he's in the next wave I might have to rotate up there okay so I think I'm gonna just keep pressure mid lane Kaisa can split Atrox is definitely backing now otherwise he'd be at my tower so just trying not to get like ulted in because if I get ulted in by Gragas like I'll get knocked up, snared, um, body slammed, I'll pro I'm guaranteed dead. So I just take out Daisy because that, that, if that stays alive like that's just a, such a nuisance in a team fight. Okay. Okay so he's dead. That's good. Brought the bomb away from my team. I have ult in 8 seconds so I'm kind of just like stalling. I'm just gonna regroup with my AD carry botlin, make sure she's fine. I'm gonna ping that I have ult so that they know that I'm in a position to help them. So she jumped into me, I don't know what you're doing, so I just pressed R on top of that. Um, I think she was trying to like bolt me into them by insecting. I don't know. But anyways, they surrendered. The game was pretty much in hand. Ivor never stood a chance, and that's why I'm pretty sure he didn't even get a kill that whole game. Um, Warwick is like a great example of a jungle bully being able to just start wherever he needs to, and I think that he's a great jungler to add to your arsenal if you're looking to do it. And he's a great, like I said, he's a great frontliner and does a lot of CC. I'll show you the damage chart really quick. Um, I really didn't do much that game. It was all, all my other carries. But as long as you're denying the enemy jungler, then I think you're doing your job. So anyways, I hope you guys liked this video. Um, if you did, leave a like down below. And uh, I'll see you guys later.